live and direct coming to y'all. I'm gonna talk about this, this crazy, the crazy shit that's been happening, what's going on in the world, man. I can't get, I can't wrap my head around, it, I can't figure it out. I'm lost, just like everybody else is lost, but we're gonna talk about it and um, people start coming in to the live so we could have a, have a discussion about this, um, this Arizona cop who fatally uh, shot and killed um, a 61 year old man in a wheelchair. So I'm gonna wait for some people to come in. Hope. Oh man. I'm trying to fix this phone. One person. What's going on? What's up? What's up? Everybody that's coming in. Thank you so much for being here on this live, yo. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Five people in here, all right? So we got, you know, a little bit of people in here. Trying to get these likes up, trying to get these people in here. So that we're going to dive right into it, man. We're going to talk about this, this Arizona cop. I'm a little late with the news, guys, man. I know it's been on a, it's been all over the internet. Um, a few of my subscribers asked me to talk about it. So we're going, we're going to jump into it. Look. Even though I'm not making any videos right now, I'm not making any audits, and those audits will be coming soon. I will get back out there, but we're going to just, when I can, when I'm able to talk about this shit that's going on in the world, I'm going to talk about it. If I can't give you guys any videos, any audits, I'm going to I'm a do it, I'm going to help out in other ways. And that's, we're giving you guys news and, 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 and just being a voice, man, and, and, and trying to wrap my head around what's going on, man. I wanted to know my opinion, so we're going to talk about it as soon as I can fix this phone. So y'all can see me. Seven people in here. Wait for about 10 people to get in here, man. I'm trying to get these people in here, man, so we could dive right into it, man, about the cop. I'm, um, if you guys know the guy's name, the, uh, the white male who was killed in Arizona, um, Put his name out there so I, I could, because I'm like, I, I don't even remember his name. So if anybody knows his name, the guy from Arizona who was killed by the Arizona cop, let me know his name. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's chilling. Hope everybody's being safe. My phone is dying. Shit. All right, so I'm gonna get my charger. Um, let me know, guys. If you guys coming in, let me know the guy who was killed by the Arizona cop. Um, the guy that the 61 year old man that was in a wheelchair. What is his name? I'll be right back. Manhattan in the building, what's up, Manhattan? You already know, you know the vibes. Manhattan, we got New York in the building, that's what's up. Some other people in here we got in here, so four people in here. I'm trying to get people to come in here, man. We're gonna have a conversation today, man. We're gonna have a conversation about this Arizona cop who uh, who killed this, this 61 year old man in a wheelchair. So we had three, we had eight people in there. Where was that? Where, where did everybody go? You guys don't see me do lives like that, so maybe that's the reason for why you guys are not sticking around. Um, but I need everybody to come in here, man. I need everybody to be in here, and let's talk about this 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 cop. When was this? Wow, you guys got. 
I'm surprised that nobody knows. That's the second person I heard that say, when was this? It happened, I think it happened like last week. It happened like, it happened last week. I'm not sure exactly when it, when it happened, but it happened like last week. And um, it was in Arizona. I think it was in Tucson. The cop name is uh, Ryan Remington out of the, the Tucson. I believe it's Tucson Police Department. If I'm wrong, um, let me know in the comments. Let me know. But uh, I need to know the guy's name. You guys know the, 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 the person who was killed in Arizona by the cop. Anybody knows, let me know because I can't Google it right now because I'm on this. I'm only I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm live with my phone, so I can't like go and um and look at it but we're just gonna get into it man people start coming in man we'll you know i'll just uh, reiterate a lot of things i'll just go back if i have to repeat myself i don't i don't mind i don't mind for you guys so arizona cop man um guy been in a i, been, I believe the cop was a cop for four, about four years he's been on the force for a little bit over four years and um he responded to a uh a guy in a wheelchair, man, and you know the guy in the wheelchair was, I believe, was in Lowe's. Let's look at the comments. Yeah, he shot. But what is that guy's name, though? What is the guy's, the the um the guy who was killed? What what is his name? If anybody knows, you guys just put it. If anybody knows, just put it there. I'll, I'll read it, and you know, because I want to address him. No, even though he's not here, I just want to be respectful and, and, and address him. And if anybody out there that's watching this video that may know him, 61, yeah, Richard Lee, Richard, Richard Lee Richards. I appreciate it. Let me see who said that. Uh, bear with me, guys. You know this live thing, I'm really, really not too, even though I don't do lives like that, so I'm a little, yeah, if I need to be charged with the homicide, negligence, causing death, exactly. David McCurdy. Thank you, David, for letting me know the, the guy's name. So, yeah, anybody that's coming in, thank you for being here. We're going to talk about this guy, Ryan Remington of the uh, Tucson Police Department, right? So people wanted me to, to do this video, right? You guys wanted, a few people wanted to know exactly what I felt about it, right? And it's, I mean, I think I can talk for a lot of us, right? Who's seen that video? And I'm I wasn't gonna put that video on my on my channel because it's just disturbing and it's disgusting. Right? Um just just disgusting, man. Just this is what this is what this is who we paying. Right? We paying these cops to do shit like this. Right? We paying them to go out there and kill us and kill innocent people. Now, if there's anybody in here that might be um you might not agree. You might be a cop lover and you might be saying, well, you know, he did it to protect the people because the guy had a knife. Now, I don't know if he I don't know if he displayed a knife to, to, to law enforcement once they arrive. I don't know. Um, but I think that police officers, law enforcement, any kind of law enforcement, they're trained. Right. They're trained to be in a situation like that. Right. They've been in situations. Many he might have not this cop. Right. He might have not been in a situation like this. Right. But he's I'm sure you've seen it happened before with other people with maybe other police officers right and maybe other police officers from that department has probably been through something similar to that right now why is it that they the first thing that they think about in a situation like that is kill instead of you know that this guy is no threat right he's in a fucking wheelchair right he's no threat to you you a person with a gun you got a taser right you mean to tell me you can't stop a person that's in a wheelchair you can't Fucking maybe give him a shoot a maybe give him a warning shot, right? Maybe shoot the wheelchair or maybe shoot him in his leg or something like that. He's not a threat if he's in a wheelchair. Now, okay, if he was walking, right? <clears throat> if he had a knife and he was going into the store after he was told not to go, then that's something different. Maybe, you know, we'll cross that bridge. Maybe that'd be a different scenario. But we're talking about a guy who's 61 years old in a wheelchair. What what threat is he if he's in a wheelchair? That and I think a lot of us People with, with intelligence are, are looking at that situation, right? And we're looking at that situation and we're like, why did it have to even get to that point? Right? Why did it have to get to that point? Um, I seen a video when he was, when they was telling him to stop, don't go into the store. But my thing is, look at the comments, we'll see what everybody's saying. 
Walmart. Let me see what everybody's saying. It was Lowe's, right? It was Walmart. Uh, yeah, the. Let me go. Let me see. Okay, yeah, it was at. All right. It was at Lowe's. He came from Walmart, right? I was there after he was murdered. Wow. Yeah, that, that's, that's crazy. Everybody in Arizona, shout out to people in Arizona. I lived out there too. I lived in Arizona. I lived in, in Glendale back in 2008. I was out there for like a year. Um, but anyway, so him being shot a total of eight or nine times is, is just is just too much, man. It, it, it just really is. To be honest with you guys, man, when I first heard the video, when I first, first heard it, um, I said to myself, I said, it's got to be a, it's got to be a, a, you know, somebody that's colored, somebody that's black, Hispanic or black, right? I didn't even think that the guy was, was Caucasian. I didn't think he was white, right? Because I, what we've been seeing lately, we've been seeing that there's been a lot of African American Hispanics have, you know, been murdered by police and, and for a similar, for something that's similar like that, right? And so when I first seen it and I said, holy shit, like, you know, and it doesn't matter who it is, right? It doesn't matter what color it is. Like, murder is murder, right? It doesn't matter at the end of the day who, it, what color you are. It don't matter. You kill somebody like that, you shoot somebody in the back that many times, right? And then you got the nerve, right? To after he, sh after, after he killed the guy, right? After the guy slumped over, fell over on the ground, then you want to fucking take your handcuffs out, then you want to try to arrest him? You want to fucking put your handcuffs on him? We know that this cop is going to get charged. We know he's going to be charged with murder. He's, he's not beating that. He's, there's no way he's going to beat that. It's just no way he's going to beat that case. There's no way. The evidence, thank God for cameras. Thank God for the, for the, the security cameras that, was that, that captured, it, captured it all. Because he's not winning that. He's not going to get off on that. There's no way. I've spoken to a few people that are law enforcement. A few people that are cops that, that, that's in my family. And I had a conversation with them about that. And I said... What do you think about that? Do you think that that was the right thing to do? And I've, I've, I've probably spoken to the, within the last three or three days, I've probably spoken to about 10 police officers and I asked them and they said, no, I, I, I just think it was a little bit too much. But cops are trained, right? Like I said in the beginning of the video, they've been in situations like that. He might not have been in a situation like that, but he know somebody to be in a situation like that. And you got to think like... You got to ask yourself, like, is it like, it's right now, is he thinking like, damn, did I make a, did I, did I make a mistake? Right? I asked my cousin the other day, right? I said, what do you think about that video? And he told me, he said, well, I think that the cop had a, you know, had a point. He did what he, did what he felt he needed to do to stop the guy. The guy could have went in silos and probably killed somebody with a knife. Right? Now... We was going back and forth debating, and I said, look, he could have, the fucking cop could have shot the wheelchair, right? He could have shot him in the back or something like that. Why, why did it take that many shots to kill somebody, right? That's, that's the point I'm trying to understand. I, I, I'm trying to get people to understand, like, anybody who's against that. Look, if you're coming into the, to the, to the live, right, and you feel differently, if you don't feel the way I feel, and you're not um, on the page with a lot of others, including myself, who feel like, this charge was out of this. This cop was a line, and he 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 murdered this guy. Like, and he did it with 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 the intent. Well, he it was intentional. I, I I don't know. I mean, I I'm not saying that he when he got to the when he got the call when he got to the scene that he said you know I'm about to kill this guy, but you gotta like something has to go off in your head. Like, damn, like I, shooting this person that many times is this the right thing to do? So many other, still, I'm thinking of, I'm not a cop, right? I don't know how it is to be a cop, right? I'm not trained or nothing like that, but just a, just a, a citizen, like looking and looking and from, from the outside, like looking at, right? You got a taser, right? And even if he, okay, he, 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 he decided to use his, his, uh, his weapon, right? Let's see what he said. Thinks he's a war zone. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these cops that they think that they can do whatever they want to do and they think that they're not going to be charged. Why? Because they're police officers. Why? Because a lot of these departments will have your back. They will look at it like, yo, you, you was actually trying to save a life. But it really, really, it's not. I don't really, really think that it was like that. I think that, first of all, the person, I don't even know if he displayed a knife to law enforcement. 
I, I don't know. And even if he did, you got a fucking gun, bro. You got a gun and you got a taser. He has a he has a knife and he has a wheelchair. How how far is he gonna go with a how you know what I'm saying? How how far he gonna go with that? Like how far is he gonna go with a wheelchair? He can't go so fast. You could sh you could have shot the wheelchair, shot him in his leg, shot him in his back, couple shots, couple maybe a warning shot to show him like, yo, you better stop. But that many shots, pop, 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 pop. Nah, man, no, no, no. That's that's just it's just a little bit too much. It's a little bit too much, and that 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 is that's the problem that we're having with police officers. They they just think that they could do whatever the hell they want to do. They think they could do whatever they want to do, and there's no consequences, right? There's no repercussions. There's no um, tip the chair over exactly. Tip the chair over exactly. You have a you got a you got a gun. He had a wheelchair. You got a wheelchair. Like there's no way that I, I I'm not convinced. Like I I'm not I'm I don't care, yo. You can't convince me. I'm I'm like. I'm realistic. I'm a realistic person. Like stuff is just, if it just doesn't seem right, then it's sometimes just not right. I sat back, right? Within the last couple of days, I looked at the, all the comments from the videos that people have put out on YouTube. And I've seen so many people were saying, were saying that this cop, I mean, it's just, it's common sense, yo. What are the jury going to do? The jury going to look at this? You, there's no way, yo. There's no way. There is no way. Like, he can't even... I mean, he might not be charged with first degree murder, but I mean, I, I don't see him beating. I don't see him walking away. I don't I, I see him doing at least 15 years for this. Or maybe even more. That's what I see, because. There's so many it's just I, it's just so many scenarios like we think about that could have that could have happened in this video. What didn't happen? What happened but didn't happen? Right. We heard somebody in the comments right now and said, you know, tip the, you know, he could have ran and tackled the guy. Maybe grabbed the guy. You, you know, you are a cop. You have a gun. You have a, 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 um, a taser. You could have tased the guy. Anybody who's not familiar with, 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 with tasers, yo, they, you, you, if you're going, if you're in a wheelchair and you're going, right, you get hit with a, you get hit. With a tape, with a shot from a taser gun, you are going down. You ain't gonna be trying to go back into the store. You are going down. So why didn't he use his taser? That's something that I want to know. If there's anybody out there, any police officers out, out that are out there that might not feel how I feel, they might be against what I believe. And I'm not here to to to, to debate with anybody. I'm not trying to look. I'm here to to put my to put my point across and say how I feel. And and people that's that's on this channel, some some of us can can relate, and I hope that a, a lot of us can can look at this video and be like, damn, this is this is crazy. But if there's anybody out there that is feeling like they don't understand, they don't feel how I feel, they they are not on the same page with me, then you you're you have every right, right, to voice your opinion, right, to write whatever you want to write. Just be respectful, right. I'm all I'm all for people coming in here giving their opinion, right? But we can all see that this was something that is just fucked up. Like this was murder. This was a this was a. I mean, we 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 talk about it. Yeah, if he was, it, what if he was walking? What if he didn't have a wheelchair? What if he had the knife in his hand and he was going inside of Walmart? They said that he stole a toolbox or something, and he threatened the employee, right? He threatened the employee and said, I don't know if he said, you know, I'll, I'll stab you or whatever. And I, I did I, I did hear somebody say, and I, and I heard this from the news, that the cop was saying that, um, you know, you better shoot him or something like that or, 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 or something like that. But even with somebody saying that doesn't mean that you have to do it. Just because somebody is telling you to do something don't mean that you have to do it. Law enforcement are, are trained to be better, Right to make better decisions, right? And you heard the chief, right? The chief of that department, he said he's disgusted with it. He's pissed off about it. And this, as a result of this, he was fired. Like, it, it, there, there's no, there was no other way to, to I mean, that, that just, it was, it, was, it was something that just had to happen. I mean, we're not going, this guy, 
this cop will never be a cop again, right? He'll probably never see his family for a long time because of the decision that he made, because he didn't make the right decision, right? He had to shoot that many shots. That's the question I think a lot of people want to know is why that many shots, right? Why that many shots? Why you couldn't do something else? You had to shoot him that many times. It wasn't, I mean, you didn't <clears throat> think like, damn, maybe I should use my taser or maybe I should just try to get in front of him, you know, or knock the wheelchair over as a, a lot of people have said. I've spoken to a lot of people who have said that same thing, that they should have just knocked the wheelchair over. Everybody that's coming in here, man, thank you so much. Please like the video, man. Please like the video as you come in. Please like the video. Let's get these likes up, man. Let's get the likes up. Let's get the likes up. Regina, what's up, Regina? Yeah, Regina, we're just talking about this Arizona cop who shot and, uh, and killed a 61-year-old man in uh, Arizona. I don't know. Anybody that's coming in here, if, you, if, you're, if, you're, if you're talking, if what you're saying and what you're posting has nothing to do about this video, I, I don't even understand why you're even posting it because I'm, I, I'm lost. That's like the third comment I'm seeing. It doesn't have anything to do with what I'm saying and, and what this video pertains, what this video is about. So I don't, I'm a little confused, man. Um, but anybody who's coming in, as you're coming in, we're talking about this guy, man. This Ryan Remington guy, Arizona cop. Kills white 61-year-old man in wheelchair. The man wasn't a threat, man. I don't know how many times I want to keep saying that. He was not a threat. How is a man a... You mean to tell me, right? Let's just say you... <laughs> let's say you, you, you get into a fight with somebody, right? And you don't know who you about to fight, right? Let's just say you... I don't know. Like, you see somebody in, 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 in a store, right? And you... And they pick a fight. They pick a fight with you. They do something that you don't like, right? And you see that they're in a wheelchair, right? You mean to tell me, right? You would rather shoot the person rather than—I mean, like that, that. Does that make sense? You could. You would consider somebody in a wheelchair a threat. Somebody that can't even walk. He's in a wheelchair, obviously, for a reason because he can't walk. It's not like he was in his wheelchair and he got up and he was like. And then he started running. No, he never he never got out of his wheelchair. He was in his wheelchair and he was he was yeah, he was going to the store, but you could have did something different. There should have been something else that happened than what we saw. We shouldn't be seeing somebody getting murdered in a wheelchair. And then the most disrespectful thing you can do is after you killed the man, then you take your handcuffs out and then you 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 go put handcuffs on him, like you 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 gonna arrest a you gonna arrest a dead man, like where they do that at? Where they do that at? Yeah, I don't know what any anybody. I'm just I don't know who's coming in here with the the stuff that they're saying, the stuff that they're posting, but I'm just gonna ignore that. Anybody that's in here that let's talk about this. What's going on? What what does everybody think about this, man? I want to know everybody's opinions. What do everybody think about this? You know, this is not something that happened, you know, where I live at, you know, but I think this is something that all of us need to talk about. We all need to, to, to come together in times like this. It's not, a, it's not about, it's not really a color thing. You know, we, myself, as a person who's, who, who always went out and, and, and stood my ground and, 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 and stood on principles and morals and all of that, right? And First Amendment rights and all of that. I can't be an activist, right? I can't be a person that goes out there, right? If I'm going to sit back and see something like this happens and I don't even speak about it. Now, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's, that's going on in the world and I don't talk about it, you know? But um, not to say that I'm not thinking about it or I'm not talking to somebody else about it. You know, it's just that right now, I don't, I don't, I'm not in a position to make any videos, any audits right now. So I'm trying to use my voice and use you know, what I was given to come on here and, 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 and talk to you guys about, you know, these situations, man. I can't, there's so much stuff that's going on in the world. There's a lot, there's a, there's a literally so much stuff that goes on that, what you know, cops are doing. Cops are killing people every single day, killing innocent people every single day. 
right? If a cop is out there doing something, you know, by any means, I always say, if you try to kill a cop in any kind of way, if you try to harm a cop in any kind of way, they got a right to defend themselves. It doesn't matter who, it doesn't matter what color the person is. It doesn't matter. You try to hurt a cop in any kind of way, then you deserve whatever happens to you. It doesn't matter. It, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, and I think all of us can kind of relate to that. We all can, can, can be, you know, be, be, uh, be on the same boat and, and, and realize that that right there is a reason for why a cop would, would, would take you out, you know, but cops have been killing people for innocent, I mean, innocent, things that they shouldn't have did. Like it, it's just no reason for why they should do it. And they still do it anyway. You know, so I don't know, man, this, this situation, we got 10 likes. Come on, I need everybody in the building, man. Where's everybody at? So we got 10 likes, man. Where's everybody at? You guys are leaving, man. You guys are making me feel so bad. I'm feeling sad. I'm going to cry, man. I don't do, I don't, you know, I don't know. Maybe because I don't do a lot of lives, man. Maybe it's a time of day. Maybe people are not really, really coming in here like that because it's the, you know, the, the time of day that we're in. Right now, it's 416 right now. So probably a lot of people at work, at work, people are just not on YouTube, but I wanted to make this video as soon as possible, man, because I was just, I was seeing this video, I was seeing the stuff that was going on in, in, you know, in Arizona, and I was like, yo, this shit is crazy, yo, like, these cops are really, really just out of hand, and, like, this is why they don't get respect, this is why they don't get respect, Res people don't respect them, cops don't get respected, man, they don't get my respect, not, I mean, I, not all of them. I mean, I'm not going to say I don't respect all cops because I feel like all cops are different. Right? You know? But, yeah, I don't know. This cop made a, a very, very bad decision. And because he made that bad decision, he's going to have to spend his, his, his life, whatever, whatever they give him in jail for what he did. So... Mental evaluation. Yeah, we need, yep. Cops need mental evaluation. Yeah, they do. We know that Arizona needs, leads the nation in death by cops per capita. Well, I didn't know that. I learned that. I learned something. We learn something every single day. I didn't know that. But you look at, you know, all the stuff that's going on in the world, man. Cops are doing this shit on a the regular. They're doing this shit. This is not something that just, we just saw and we said, oh, like, you know, we, no, this is something that's been going on for a long time. But this is the first time I ever seen. Um, I think this. I, I think there was a similar situation like this where 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 a man was was killed in a wheelchair. Also, I think I think it was. I'm not sure exactly where it was, but if you guys might know, let me know in the chat. I think something similar like this happened before. I'm sure it has. This is not the first time that something like this happened. Cops are notorious for doing dumb shit. So. They, they, they're notorious for doing shit like this. I think, honestly, man, it, it, it has to be a... I, I don't know. We, we talk about retraining and all of that. And, you know, he, he probably never had a situation like that in his life, in his career. He probably never, ever been in a situation like that. Who knows? You know, I would have to look at his work record and see his his uh you know when he when he became a cop what kind of trouble has you know did he get himself into when he was you know you know as he you know moved up the ranks uh or if he even moved up the rank i think he's just a regular police officer four years five years in and you know being a police officer so what does everybody think man i only have one person in here what's going on with everybody hello good hosts what people talk about coming in here man we're talking about this cop man we talk about this ryan remington cop that killed this man in his wheelchair 61 year old man in arizona it's crazy man it's just crazy to even to even 
think about this shit. Like, you can't make this stuff up, yo. You really, really just can't. Like, these cops is... I don't know, man. I, I don't know. We need to be better. Well, they need to be better. Training is... is, is it's okay to a certain point, but it's, you gotta be, they don't think, man. They, they make, they, they, they don't really, really think. I just, I don't know. He shouldn't be charged with murder in the first. So tell me why he should be charged with murder. So we got one person in here who, who obviously is a, is a cop lover. So tell me why he shouldn't be charged with murder. I want to hear that. And we're going to have a debate about that. We're going to talk about that. But we're going to be respectful, though. Let me know why this cop shouldn't be charged with, with murder. Anybody in here that feels as though that this cop shouldn't be charged? Post. Right? I mean, put it, put it, put how you feel. Post whatever you feel. Let me know how you feel about that. Let me know why he shouldn't be charged with murder. And I want to know why that many shots though why take that many shots to kill somebody in a wheelchair a person that's not a threat so we had 12 likes and we only got one person in here you guys are killing me man Come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. Where's the, I mean, there's anybody out there that, that, that feel how I feel, right? Let me see. Oh, okay. Nikki from London. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I read your, <clears throat> the message I read it wrong, so I apologize. My bad. So, yeah, absolutely. So, we got Nikki from London. And we got David. David Boren. So, David, I apologize, man. I really, really do. I read it wrong. So, you you on my side then. You you know, you actually have a brain, right? We actually have brains here. We can kind of look at that situation, right? You don't even have to be a person that's in, like, into the First Amendment audit thing and the community and, and you know, you don't even have to be a supporter of the movement, right? But you look at that video, right? And you see a cop shooting somebody eight or nine times, a person who's not a threat, a person who's in a wheelchair. That right there is just unacceptable. Like there's no, even the chief said that it was, it, it was, it wasn't called for. It was disgusting. It was disturbing. And it just wasn't, it wasn't cool, man. It really, really, it just wasn't cool. It wasn't cool. So anybody's coming in. I know we've had nine and 10 people in here. Um, guys got to come on in, man. Let's, let's, let's talk about this. What, every, what does everybody, what does everybody think about this? I need everybody to come in here and just tell me how you feel about it. Just. Even if you feel differently, even if you feel that the cops shouldn't be charged. I've heard a, a couple people. I, I, I reached out to a few people who said that they don't think that this cop should be charged with murder. I think it's crazy to feel that way. But if you feel that way, tell me why. Ex you know, tell me why. I'm not going to be convinced. It's not like you're going to convince me to, 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 to feel like you or to believe you. But I just, I just want to know, like, why? Because there's so many people that, that I feel like understand and, and believe that this cop should be charged. I saw the footage that officer didn't even hesitate. There was a million other ways he could have stopped him. But choose to kill instead. Or she can legally eliminate the threat. Okay, so how was he? Okay, so where, where was the threat of the guys in a wheelchair? If the guy's in a wheelchair, you you a person that's law enforcement. You you're trained to be better than that, right? Your your, your mission is not only to on, on stuff like this. I've said this in the beginning of the video. They get trained on things like that. Why not use his taser? But I I want to know from you. You made that comment, you know, yeah, to eliminate the threat. So how is this guy a threat if he's in a wheelchair? You got a gun to that situation, right? If you if I'm 
if I got a gun, right, and you in a front and you're in the front of me, right, you're go you're 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 your back is turned like that. Right, right, exactly. Right, exactly. He, he right, he definitely wanted to kill with eight or nine shots. I don't even think that many shots took to kill him, but you know, he could have he could have did something differently. He could have shot he could have shot the wheelchair. He could have shot him in his butt. He could have shot him in his leg. He would have went down either way. And he wouldn't have continued to go on Walmart after being shot in his leg or in his butt. Or even maybe in his back. Or or you know, even if the cop could have ran behind him and knocked him down. Or you know, but see, that's what that's that's the conversation that I um I, I think I can have with anybody who who's who feels differently, who feels that this cop shouldn't be char charged, or maybe feel like, oh well, this guy's a threat. Let me kill him. He's no threat. He's in a wheelchair. He's no threat. He's in a wheelchair, and. You know, I, I spoke to a few people, and they were like, "Well, he was going inside Lowe's. He could have, he could have stabbed." I mean, hypothetically speaking, you think that he would have went in there and started stabbing people in a wheelchair? I mean, come on, man. Like, think, think rational. Like, like that's not, nah. Right, cops are trained to if they feel like they need to, um, kill you before you kill somebody else. Absolutely, then by all means. But this guy wasn't a threat. He's in a wheelchair. <laughs> he 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 paused by shooting a ninth shot. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I you know the jury is gonna he's gonna be convicted. There's there's no other way. There's no other way. I don't. I'm not thinking that maybe he. There's no way he'll get off. There's no way. You got and you got so many people that's looking at this situation and. It's just common sense, yo. It's common sense. Like, why that many shots, yo? In a man in a wheelchair. If he was, if he was, if he was standing up. Let me see. Let me see if I can get a knife. Yeah, I got a knife right here. If I'm, if I got a knife right here, right? Let's just say this was the knife, right? And I'm walking. And I'm walking inside Walmart or wherever we was at. Doesn't matter where we was at. And I'm walking, right? I'm walking. Look at me. I'm walking. Right. And the cop's like, put it down, put it down, put it down. And I'll keep walking. I keep walking. Then that's something different. That's something different. And even even then. Right. Even then. Right. Should you have killed that person? Even if he was standing up. Right. And he had a knife. Right. What happens to your taser? Right. Do you always got to kill? Like what's the whole point of a taser? Did he have one? When, when would he have used that taser? That's what I want to know. I was speaking to somebody about this and it was like, well, he, he, you know, he, he didn't think about that. He just, well, he should have thought about that. He should have thought about that. He should have thought about using something that couldn't kill somebody rather than could kill somebody. And a taser could kill somebody, but come on, man, a gun, come on. It's crazy. It's crazy, man, because... If you're walking with a knife and you're in a wheelchair, if I'm if I'm in a wheelchair and I'm going like this and I got my knife, yo, you can fucking shoot the knife out of my hand. Like you can shoot my hand. Cops are trained to to, to shoot and know exactly where they're shooting at. I'm just like anybody who's anybody who 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 is a who don't feel like that, then I'm not gonna try to argue with them. I'm not gonna try to you know, be be disrespectful, like, but it's just, come on, man. <laughs> Some of these cops are undercover sociopaths, <laughs> lacking decent morals. Civilians scared; they're taking they're taking away our rights across the planet. Well, that's the whole purpose purpose of the First Amendment order. That's the purpose of why these guys, you know, go out there and, and make these videos and, and to try to find people out there that, that you know, believe us and, and is, are on the same page. 
and and know that this type of situation, this type of thing that we're dealing with, it's it's just it's not right and it's fucked up and it's and this is why the world is like that. And this is why we're in a situation. This is why we have these type of cops that's like that. Because they don't think like, you know, and then once they're convicted, then they're like, damn, like I fucked my life up. I fucked my career up. I fucked my career because I made a bad decision when I could have made a, a I could have thought differently about it. I didn't have to kill somebody. You know, it, it's just it, 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 it's sad, man. It, it really, really is. It really, really is. And it's like, you know, and that's why I always say when you when these guys go out there and do these audits, shout out to the First Amendment audits. Shout out to all the guys, women and men that go out there and do these videos because even myself, right? But you guys have been doing it. A lot of these auditors have been doing this shit for a long time, right? And they've been through so much, right? We're dealing with law enforcement, right? And you never ever know what to expect with them. Like you never ever know what kind of cop you're gonna interact with that day. You don't know if he's gonna be a bad cop, you don't know if he's gonna be a good cop, you don't know. And so it's, so that's why I always can, can support somebody that's out there that's doing that. Because they're putting themselves in, a, in some very um, crazy situations. You, you, you're putting yourself in, a, in, in, a, in, a, in some awkward situations sometimes. Very, very scary situations. Especially when you're going out there and you're making these videos and you're doing it by, by yourself. Right? You're, you're really, really you're putting yourself in a position where you could be hurt. Right? And so we need to, a lot of these trolls, a lot of these people that are out there that are going on these channels, we need to start lifting these people up and, 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 and praising these people and, and, and appreciating what they're doing because... Everybody's not going to go out there and, and make a video and, and, and call themselves an a auditor or, or pick up a camera because they're scared. They don't have the balls to do it. They would never do it. But we need to be a little bit more better. The guy, you, you know, you need to be a little bit more better and saying, you know what? I appreciate what you're doing. Right? Because it's not easy. It's not an easy thing to be going out there filming these cops. It, it really, it's really not. Cops are indoctrinated from the moment moment that they training they lose empathy yeah no just no no kind of empathy for anything no no morals no 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 kind of uh um principles nothing like that like their 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 moral comp their 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 moral comp their moral comp is they don't have any of that they just like up oh, the guy has a the guy has a he has a knife he's going inside the store I told him to stop he won't stop let me kill him and that's not the way to go. It's, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not what they should be doing out there. And like I said, I've spoken to a few law enforcement. You know, I have a couple of my family, so I asked them about it, and they they said that it's fucked up. Like they don't. They, stuff like that makes them feel like like bad. Like to even like you know they got to you know, but it's a job. Like they got to go to work the next day. They you know they they protect and serve. Now those are the ones. Even though. Here's the thing, right? I've always was told that you could be the best police officer, right? You could be the best, right? You can you can have no nothing on your record, right? You could be one of the good ones, right? But when you see somebody else doing something that not that's not supposed to be doing that, and he's doing something that you know is not right, and you don't say nothing about that, and you don't say nothing to that person, and you don't. Tell that person, look, you can't be doing this. This is not right. Like, yo, you can't do that. You might, you consider, you're, you're, all the, the accomplishments, everything that you have ever uh, uh, earned as being a police officer, any kind of uh, uh, degrees, any kind of awards that you ever had, that shit goes right out the window. Because if you see somebody doing something that you know is not right and you don't say anything about it, then you're considered a bad cop. You're considered, you, you're just as guilty as him. But see, people don't want to do it. People don't want to rat. People don't want to say anything because they're going to be like, oh, shit. Well, this person is going against me and he's supposed to be listening to me. And that's the problem. Yeah, what these cops are doing, what these cops are doing to get a paycheck. It amazes me. I, I agree. I don't even have to read the whole. I see exactly what you're saying. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. 
Yeah, man, it's, it's crazy, man. We living we living in a, a times where a lot of this shit is just it doesn't make sense. It don't make sense at all. And that's why I always anybody, you know, it's crazy, man, because that video is that video is all over the internet. It's all over the internet. So all I want to say is to that cop, good luck with trying to get off that. Good luck. Because that, thank God for video cameras, thank God for, for all of that. Body cams, all of that. They're going to ask to see his body cam, his footage. We want to see, you know, like, it's just, you. It's, there's no way he could get off. I just don't think, I just can't see any reason why he would get off. Can't see why he would get off. He won't get off on that one. Where's everybody from, though? Anybody from Arizona in here? We had a couple of new people from New York in here, people from Chicago. I'm from New York, though. Y'all know the vibes? <clears throat> Queens, 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 New York. But I ain't from Queens, though. I ain't from Queens. I live here, but I'm not from Queens. Yeah, he, he won't get off, though. I don't think he's going to get off. There's so many people. There's there's too many news outlets that's, that's covered this story who all said that he he was pretty much he was a dumbass. He was you, you got to be more. You got to be more smarter than that in a situation like that. You just fucked up your whole career. He's he's fired right now. He's the shit going to take a while to go to trial and all of that. But he's not getting off. I put money on anybody that want to bet me. To say that he'll get off, guarantee you he won't get off. I, I, I'm willing to bet anybody who want to put some money down. Anybody want to put some bread up? Money? Let's, I, I just, I don't think he's going to get off. There's no way. There's no way. It's just, I don't think so. Too much evidence. Too much stuff is against him, right? On, on what he should have did in that situation as opposed to what he, what, what he did. So, no. I don't need, like I said, I don't even think if he had a weapon. I don't even know if he displayed a knife to them. I don't even know if he did. If they even saw it. So, uh, didn't they bring out a law in one state where if a cop sees another do wrong, has report, doesn't, then the cop would. For example, this is very, very uh, videos I did. Then Blue came out and said, yeah, you can't record here. And said of them saying, no, he has every right to record us. His First Amendment right. And he's in public. He has a right to record us. The, the video that I did, you guys can go watch it. If anybody follows me, you guys probably have seen it. But if anybody want to go and look at the video that I'm talking about, there is a video that I did in Brooklyn, which is um, Coney Island. Um, where uh, I was told to stop recording, and if I didn't stop recording, I would be arrested. Um, they took my phone. They took they 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 turned the video off, and all of that. And um, there was another video that I also did in Brooklyn, also, um, where the sergeant was like, "Yeah, you can't record the parking lot," and I'm telling him I could record the parking lot. What, what do you mean I can't record the parking lot? I'm recording it right now. Oh, you can't record. You can't step on the sidewalk and everything. I had people in a, in a video telling me that, yo, they were like, yo, you, you, you listen to this cop. He, he was bullying you and, you know, you listen to him. And it wasn't that he was bullying me. It wasn't none of that. Uh, I didn't go on the sidewalk because of where I was at in the street. The, the angle that I was recording was perfect from where I was at. If I would have got on the sidewalk, I would have been right up on him. And the, the, the video just would have, it would have looked dumb. It wouldn't look where you can actually see it. So I had to always remember, right? Anybody out there that's doing these videos, you always, always want to keep your, your distance. You never, ever want to be all up, all, all up in a cop's face. That's something that you just don't do. So me knowing, seeing other videos and me being, and, and I did my own share of videos. I know what to do in these videos. 
I'm not going to be all up in a cop's face like, you know, like right up on him. I had to have my space. So that's where I was at in that little street. Uh, you know, I wasn't even on the, the sidewalk where the parking lot was. Where you ended. I was kind of like on the street, you know. Um, so, you know, because how was you going to record it? How was you going to get a view? Anybody watch the video, you can clearly see what I'm talking about. As soon as you watch it, you're going to know what I'm talking about. But this, this sergeant told me I wasn't allowed, he didn't have no uniform on. And he was like, yeah, you can't, you can't do that. You, did you hear what the sergeant said? Said, And I'm like, Carrero, Carrera, or something like that from the, from that precinct. Very, very nice dude. Uh, down to earth, respectful. Um, said that. No, you had every right to record. They shouldn't have told you that you couldn't record. But see, the police officer, regular cop, he's backing up the sergeant. And you would back up the sergeant because it's all, I got to defend him. But so now you look like you look even more guilty and you look more like a dumbass like him now. Because now you're now when I made the complaint, now you you looking stupid. You're like, oh, shit, like, damn, he was right all along. He could record. And so it, it's it's just. You know, cops always do this shit. This is always like that. They'll, they'll see somebody, they'll see their cop, their 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 lieutenant, sergeant, whoever it is. They'll see their cop, their 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 lieutenant, sergeant, whoever it is, doing something wrong, and they will not say anything about it until later on down the line. Then they got a stupid look on their face, like, oh well, you know, I didn't know, but you're supposed to know. You're supposed to know. So. Yeah, it's a connection. Didn't get, didn't, they bring out a law, you, I seen that one. The police needs more civilian oversight and monitoring. I've been saying that for the longest, that that's what they need. Every cop who does nothing should be charged as well as an accessory to murder or whatever the crime. Sacramento, right. Wasn't that happened with George Floyd, right? Wasn't those other cops charged also? They might not have got charged with murder, but they was charged with an accessory or something like that. Because if you see somebody doing something wrong and you don't stop it, then, well, you're just as guilty. I mean, you, I'm not saying that those other cops should have got charged with murder too, but give their asses something, lock their asses up for at least five or ten years. Yeah, man, I don't know, man. This world is a crazy world we live in. And, um, but guys, listen, man, I'm a, um, I, I expected a lot of people to be in here, but, you know, I guess I don't do a lot of lives. So that's why maybe the reason why people are not in here and then look at the time. So um, I'm going to be going live again in the next couple of days. Uh, I'll probably go live at a, you know, at a different time. And I don't know what we'll talk about. We'll, I'll find something to bring up to, to talk to you guys about. Um, like I said, I'm not making any videos right now, uh, but I can still be active. I can still be coming on here, talking, you know, giving you guys some stories. Maybe you guys have heard of the stories and we just talk, man. We just try to like, you know, talk about what's going on. So now we got five people now. When I'm about to leave now, we go from three to five people, man. We got to get more people in here, man. I want to see... A, Let's get let's get twenty people in here, man. Like I I don't expect to have hundreds and two hundred, you know, three hundred people in here because I don't make lives like that. I'm, I I very like rarely do live, go live. So I don't I know that's probably the reason why people are not really really in here like that. But um, <clears throat> I'm gonna be going live a little bit more now because I'm not making any videos right now. So I I will be giving you guys some videos. You know, we're going to be talking about a lot of different stuff that's going on. I hope everybody's being safe, though, man. I hope everybody is, is trying to be safe, man, with everything that's going on out here. <laughs> You'll always have an issue breaking that thin blue line. What these got... What these guys are willing to do for a paycheck. He's very dead. Yeah, these cops would do anything for a paycheck. I don't even think some of them even care about 
that that our rights and all of that. It shows in their demeanor. It shows in their attitudes. Because if they really, really care, they wouldn't be acting like that in a lot of these situations. They'll do shit differently. So... Crazy, crazy. That cop should be charged with murder. Maybe not first degree, second degree, but like I said, he'll definitely be charged. I don't see him charged with nothing else. <clears throat> he ain't getting off. That's for sure. Let's get the likes up, man. Let's get these likes up before I go, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be out within the next... Five to ten minutes, man. Let's get these likes up. Everybody that's coming in here, get the likes up. Please hit the like button. I'm trying to get this video out there, man. I need a lot of people to, to come in here, man, and just give their opinion and just, just say how they feel about it. <clears throat> if you disagree, you might not you might not agree with what I'm saying. Or a lot of these other people saying you it doesn't matter. You can come on here, you can say how you how, <clears throat> how you feel. You could write, you could post whatever you want to post. Just make sure that's respectful, though. As you come in here, let's get the likes up. We got 16 likes. Let's get this likes up. Come on, man. Y'all know the vibes. I know the, the, the time of the day, man. The time of the day, people are really, really not just on live like that. So we'll, we'll, we'll pick another topic and we'll talk about some other stuff another day. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Um, wanted a lot of people to be in here, man, but unfortunately, there's not a lot of people in here. So we'll we'll try another day, and we'll uh, we'll see what happens, right? Be safe, everybody. I'm out.